Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You are very welcome here indeed. So what's the best alpha ketoglutarate supplement on the market? Or what's the best alpha ketoglutarate brand that is on the market? Now, probably one of the most important questions you may be asking yourself now, as I did too, is what the hell is alpha ketoglutarate and what can it do for me? So in this video, I'm going to cover what it is, what the health benefits are, and also where you can buy it from a reputable suppliers. That's enough waffling off me. Let's get into it. Alpha ketoglutaric acid, or alpha ketoglutarate, or AKG, or AAKG, is a compound that occurs naturally in the human body. It plays a key role in the Krebs cycle. These are a series of chemical reactions used to release our stored energy. Let's take a look at alpha ketoglutarate in more detail and also the potential benefits that supplementation may herald. There are links in the description below to the articles and studies that I use to put this presentation together. Alpha ketoglutarate is an intermediate compound in the series of reactions that produce energy in the body. It is the source of the amino acids glutamate and glutamine. Glutamate is the main excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain and can increase bone formation. Glutamine is the main source of energy for cell division. Alpha ketoglutarate also regulates amino acid synthesis, energy production and the formation of free radicals. Alpha ketoglutarate cannot be found in food, so if our body needs it, we do have to supplement. Like NAD, as we age, the amount of alpha ketoglutarate produced by our body also declines. As I've said, alpha ketoglutarate cannot be obtained from food. Rather, it is synthesized from non-essential amino acids that the body produces from its own cells. However, if we do need to boost it, we can take a dietary supplement. Let's now look at some potential health benefits. During surgery, alpha ketoglutarate is sometimes delivered intravenously, so through the veins, to reduce damage to the heart muscle because of the reduced blood flow. Doing so may also improve blood flow to the kidney following surgery. Alpha ketoglutarate has been used since the late 1990s to help break down and absorb protein in people on hemodialysis who require a low protein diet. More recent evidence suggests that it may also delay the need for dialysis in people with advanced chronic kidney disease or CKD. In a 2017 study, researchers identified and followed 1,483 people with advanced chronic kidney disease who used an alpha ketoglutarate supplement called ketosterol. Compared to a matched set of individuals who didn't take the supplement, those who did were less likely to require long-term dialysis. That said, the researchers defined that less than five and a half ketosterol tablets per day was an unsuitable dose. Despite the positive findings, it is unclear what role alpha ketoglutarate played in comparison to the supplement's other active ingredients. So further research is going to be needed. Alpha ketoglutarate supplements are also believed to be anti-catabolic, meaning that they slow or prevent catabolism. Catabolism is the breakdown of our bodily tissues. A 2012 study in the Italian Journal of Animal Science reported that alpha ketoglutarate prevented the breakdown of the intestines in lab rats fed a protein-free diet for 14 days rather than experiencing damage to the intestines, which was the expected outcome, the rats that were fed alpha ketoglutarate had no visible intestinal damage. Also, the rats given the supplement were able to maintain normal growth despite the total lack of protein and higher doses produced even better results. In addition to its application in chronic kidney disease, AKG may also aid people with intestinal toxemia and malabsorption disorders like celiac disease. However, further research is obviously needed in humans. Moving on, let's now take a look at bone health. 
alpha ketoglutarate increases collagen production and iron absorption, which may increase bone density and also bone strength. In a study of 76 menopausal women with bone weakness, supplementing with alpha ketoglutarate for 24 weeks prevented bone loss and reduced the symptoms of the menopause. It also reconstructed some of the bone tissue. A number of animal studies have also indicated that supplementing with alpha ketoglutarate does improve bone density. Let's take a look at some possible side effects. To be safe, always speak with a medical professional before taking alpha ketoglutarate or in fact any other dietary supplement for that matter. Studies investigating the effects of alpha ketoglutarate reported few adverse symptoms after three years. So AKG is considered safe and well tolerated. As a compound made from non-essential amino acids, alpha ketoglutarate is not a substance on which you can readily overdose. Any excess in the body will either be excreted in the urine or broken down into basic amino acid building blocks for other purposes. With that said, the safety of alpha ketoglutarate in pregnant women, nursing mothers and children has not yet been established. Alpha ketoglutarate supplements are available in tablet, capsule and powder form. Now there are no universal guidelines for the appropriate use of AKG, but supplements are typically sold in dosages ranging from 300 milligrams to 1000 milligrams with a protocol of taking once daily with or without food. However, doses of up to 3000 milligrams have been used in studies with no adverse side effects. And if you're looking for a reputable supplier to buy your calcium alpha ketoglutarate from, check out Renew by Science and Pro Health Longevity. And if you do buy from one of these companies, please feel free to use the code MYNMN at checkout to get between 10 and 15% off. And there are links to these specific products in the description below. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Now, it certainly looks like a very promising supplement if the animal trials are anything to go by. Please let me know in the comments below, do you take AKG, alpha ketoglutarate, or have you taken it? And if you did, did you see or feel any benefits? Now, I don't take AKG at the moment. I think I'll wait for a few more studies to be conducted before I think about adding it to my longevity stack.